Moscow. Our captain is not taking visitors. No one uninvited boards the scow. Captain's orders. The captain does love letterers. If that's all you're here for, then maybe. Alright. I'll clear you to talk. Keep yourself out of trouble, or we'll have every hired gun in the cargo bay after you. Who let you on board? Thought Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Yeah? What kind of salvage work you do? Ship? Ground battlefield? Or do you just sculpt the back alleys picking through trash? I hate running through a dead ship. Like sifting through a damn tomb. I always think the next ghost ship is gonna be like one of those horror films. <laughs> You're all right, scavenger. Go on ahead. Petrov's got a whole little alien zoo in the back. He's asking for trouble with those things. But the locks on the cages are pretty high-end. Thankfully. Strewn about all over. The good stuff's locked up in a vault for Petrov's own personal viewing pleasure. And before you ask, Petrov's the only one with the keys, so don't try bribing any of the crew. You just waste your money. Trade it for it. Some dusty hauling ore from the fringe. <laughs> Was glad when he left. It's all shakes and muttering. Fine. Just ignore me then. The scow's not a bad ship, as long as you shut your eyes. Firefight breaks out, everyone on board is gonna join in just for fun. You understand?
Don't have time for you. Get lost. Captain Petrov sure loves his damn speeches. The pinnacle of perfect procurement. The penultimate panopticon of prosperity. Ha ha ha! What? Well, gentlemen, we have a newcomer. Place your bets. I'll go with buying. A hundred credits says they leave with one of the captain's glorious golden statues. You know those are colored aluminum, right? I say selling, but nothing the captain wants. You win, Bull? Yeah, yeah. Count me in. I say selling. A cargo hold of all the oil paintings. All fixed. Mmm, bold. I like it. Us? We're in, uh, acquisitions. She means we hunt things down and steal them. From bad people. Mostly. A lot of these old relics the captain collects don't have legitimate owners. Uh, so it's sort of right by possession, you know? And, uh, we help with the possession part. You hear there's alien creatures on board the ship? The captain calls it... Well, gentlemen, we have a newcomer. I'll go with buying. You know those are colored. You win, Bull? Yeah, yeah. Mmm, bold. Oh, no! Looks like we all lose. Including you, newcomer. Captain's obsessed with that damn rack. Got it in the vault and everything. You know, I hear that vault got made on the cheap. Quiet! Quiet! No spilling the captain's secrets. At least not for free. Oh, we would never do that. We love our captain. Love his money. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Hand over the credits then. Let's talk. I hear the back end of the vault butts up against the old conveyor belt system. Crucessus walls were just meant as partitions. They're thin, held up by a few old security bolts. A laser could just cut right through them. Not that you would, being a respectful guest of this ship and all. I mean, look around, you know? This ship kind of says it all. He's a self-obsessed megalomaniac with delusions of grandeur. I don't think that's fair. He's just eccentric, like a best friend who's great in really, really small doses. One thing he's good for is steady pay. He knows how to spread the wealth around. Oh no, God no. Each of us works solo. We'd kill each other if we had to team up. I actually think it wouldn't be so bad. We hang out all the time. Exactly. I got precious little separation between my life and you two as it is. You know, people say he's mad, but I like Petrov. Runs a good ship. Don't know why Petrov pays for all this junk, but at least he pays. You meet Vak, got work to do. Don't have time for you. Get lost. This guy's not a bad ship, as long as you shut your eyes. You know, if it were up to me, 
We wouldn't let people on the ship we haven't vetted personally. Ah! I wasn't aware we had the visitors. Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent! Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax! Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. Oh ho, you do have a point. Ah, very well. What's a quick look going to hurt, huh? I know. People look at Talk me and say, Petrov, Petrov He's your whole ship is a testament of splendor. Why do you need a special vault? Well, all I can say is that even the greatest collection needs its own private viewing area. What's between you and me? Thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. Every door between me and my treasures is painful. But that is the price of security. Okay, Sarah. Just a bit further. This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a dam. Captain Petrov sure loves his damn speeches. Why, it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally steered us into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard. A lot of the guards here are bounty hunters, smugglers, or salvagers from the fringes. A lot of shark smiles, you know. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing. Devoid of any such enlightenment. Why, yes, he did. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off. 
I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. Hey, we're not pirates. Except, well, when we really need something for really, really good reasons. Yeah, that does sound a little piratey, doesn't it? I'm afraid not. I'm easy in all things, except my collection. Then I suppose it's just a question whether my immeasurable love for my collection and my crew of hired cutthroats is enough to stop you. Go ahead. Make a move for the artifact. Let's see what happens. I don't see any moves we got left here. We both desire the same thing. But only one of us can get what they want. 